Welcome to the verse. What is up, guys? Welcome to the Verse Crypto Channel, the most savage generic crypto channel out there. My name is Chaos Chris, and I'll be your host today. Before I open this video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on bell notifications so we keep you guys up to date with the latest, greatest news and information in this space. With that being said, let's hop right in this video. So, as always, we got another awesome video for you degenerates today. We're going to be talking about Mentra. For those of you guys who don't know what Mentra is, it is a NFT marketplace launching on our favorite Layer 1 blockchain the pulse chain this project was developed by gerardo he's a very big hexagon in the community he uh created the website look into hex.com and he does really awesome technical analysis of the hex price when it comes to promoting hex and a lot of these uh pulse chain projects he has done a phenomenal job as being the face and one of the leaders into market adoption behind the pulse chain community so i'm definitely really excited to cover this project today we're going to break down what mintra is give you guys a good idea what the mean the cheese is um discuss the overall uh price performance and what's going to happen at pulse chain launch and let you guys know my overall thoughts on whether or not this is going to be a long-term long-term or short short-term sustainable project so enough talking let's take a little look ruski at mentra so for those guys um who have not heard of mentra or net or have never seen this project before uh the main starting website is mentra.io um they're not going to be launching the main ui yet um right now it's on the pulse chain test net but this is where you're going to go to access the nft marketplace it's going to be very similar to you know open seas keep in mind i said similar it's not going to be exactly the same uh open seas is very centralized and it's very popular with the ethereum and polygon blockchains but this one's going to be tailored towards the pulse chain keep in mind when Ethereum blockchain launches you're going to get a one-on-one -on -one copy of every single one of your nfts so there's going to be places where you need to go and buy and sell these nfts and mentra is one of those places where you can go so it's definitely a great place especially if you're going to get free nfts on this blockchain so if you guys want to check out the socials they have discord they have twitter they have telegram these are great places especially uh discord and and telegram you know there's a great community you can go and ask questions about the project and get a good overall thoughts um twitter is the number one place when it comes to finding these hidden altcoin gems everyone always asks me where do you find these projects it's all on twitter twitter is the number one marketing place um when it comes to cryptocurrency projects every single crypto project goes on twitter and that's how they promote and that's how they gain traction and that's how they go viral so you should definitely be on twitter if you're looking for the next hot project to get launched so over here on um their twitter page there's mentor.info and when you come over to mentor.info it gives you a great breakdown of what this project overall is and i want to just quickly go through and discuss all the meat and the cheese behind this project and i can go through every single detail it's very easy to understand so um kind of come over to mentor.info they had a sacrifice phase you know you can send in a certain list of tokens you shouldn't have any expectation of profits or value of the token. And once Paul Shane launches, then you're gonna get airdrop free tokens. They managed to uh, pull in $9 million. So, you know, good job behind the mentor team. That's absolutely awesome. Um, this started in February, ended in March. So we're not gonna go over um, the sacrifice phase since it's over right now and there's no point. But for those of you guys who have not got into the sacrifice phase, you can you can still get into this project at launch. And we're going to talk a little bit about some strategy on how you should uh, get into this project. Keep an eye, keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for education and entertainment purposes only. Now, scrolling down, um, the main token of this project is going to be Mint. And so Mint will be the native token used for the Mintra marketplace. If you were in the sacrifice phase, you can get airdrop those free Mint tokens um so the average uh marketplace transactions for an nft marketplace is going to be 2.5 percent mentra is only going to have 2.25 percent fee for the marketplace 1.25 percent of that is going to be sent to a public address and the rest of it is going to be used for basically kind of like 
gas fees or transaction fees um, on the network. And um, so the idea of this small little extra fee, um, the development team either wants to basically burn, buy up the token and burn it, or they're going to do payouts of the token to basically holders or uh, stakers. Now we're going to go over that a little bit more on the test net because they do have a really cool UI test net that we can uh, play around with and take a little look at Ruski at. But the overall idea is that this token is going to be capped at a certain uh, supply. And um, because it's capped, they're going to add this deflationary mechanism to reduce the supply so it can increase the overall price and can also benefit holders. And also you have the opportunity to get a nice juicy payout of crypto if you just hold the token, just stake it. So it's a win-win situation, two great utilities, and has done very, very well for many other projects outside of Mentra. Now, to give you an idea, you know, a lot of these big NFT marketplaces have massive 24 hour volume. And that's what's going to come into play when it comes to this 2.25% uh, fee, mainly the 1.25% fee. And so Axie Finney has 83 million. Uh, and he has 24, Open Seas has 93. And Looks has over 153 million. So you can see that these marketplaces are absolutely uh, big. Any is actually 26, not 40. I'm sorry. But we have that huge 24 hour volume 1.25 percent of that is is a lot of money you know that depending on depending on whatever volume you get you can get close to a million dollars worth of tokens that can be used to be burnt or paid out to uh token stakers so definitely really cool now the one thing i love about this website is how they break down the uh, nft carbon footprint and so i want to read this little paragraph and kind of break it down a little bit so NFTs have been commonly minted on the Ethereum blockchain, the second most popular after Bitcoin. One analysis found that the energy footprint of the average transaction on this network is roughly 35 kilowatt hours. And that's just basically the same as powering a refrigerator for a month. And from an engineer perspective, 35 kilowatt hours for, um, for something like that is absolutely a lot of energy. I mean, that's enough to, you know, kind of power like a computer for, probably a little bit more than a month, but regardless, 35 kilowatt hours is absolutely bananas. MT transactions also involve minting, bidding, selling, and transferring of a digital token. All these actions are costly and can add up to 369 kilowatt hours or 10 times as much energy. One researcher calculated that certain artists selling two pieces of artwork use over 175 megawatt hours, creating greenhouse gas emissions of 21 years of U.S. households' electricity use. And typically, a U.S. household, most people hold their homes for anywhere from 20 to 25 years. So that's basically a lifetime worth of energy use from minting two NFTs and by bidding and selling or whatnot. So you can tell there's a huge issue. But Pulse Chain has a proof-of-stake system where it reduces the energy cost by 99.98%. So it basically makes it one of the most greenest blockchains ever. And I've, as I've said before, Pulse Chain is using the uh, carbon footprint as its main marketing tool to uh, get a huge hold on the crypto market. It's basically Ethereum, but a lot better, a lot faster, and a lot, and a lot cleaner for the environment. So kind of going down here to the Q&A, there is going to be a Mentra lead site that's going to track your sacrifices. So if you're, in, if you're into that, you can check out the Mentra lead site on uh, Twitter. Uh, the website does not have any admin keys. It's been audited by Surtech and RugDoc. Um, they're probably, they haven't launched a white paper, not, not one that I have seen. But once the project's up and running, I guarantee you there is going to be one. And I'll do a video just checking out and breaking down the white paper because chances are they're going to add some really cool features. Now, the token supply. Um, so basically, the supply mint will be determined by the total USD value that is sacrifice. All mint will be minted surely after the sacrifice. Mint will have a fixed supply, meaning they're meaning that no other tokens can be mentored, minted. Mentored could be could double the supply. This could be used for liquidity, burn. There will be no team tokens. You should not have any expectations of profits from any of this. So we'll cover this a little bit later, but I love how there's no team tokens. A lot of project developers do the whole team tokens thing and 
it makes the project really sketchy and a lot of the developers sell off these tokens and end up crashing their project. So it's like a Ponzi scheme. So um, when it comes to uh, the launch, this is gonna be the case for every single one of these projects that are launching on the Pulse chain. We're not gonna know what the price of the project's gonna be until price discovery. So it could be a couple tenths of a penny. It could be a dollar. Nobody knows, but you definitely want to sit back and wait because we'll talk about that price action in a minute. Um, you can hold your mentor tokens on MetaMask. Ledger also supports, um, you know, is also going to support the Pulse chain. And same, same with a lot of these hard, uh, same, same with a lot of these uh, other crypto wallets that you can use like Ledger and Treasure Wallet and Lipule and whatnot. So if you guys um, come back here to the Mentra NFT marketplace, you can come over here and come down to this tweet and it has the staking page and it'll take you to the test net. And when we get over here to the test net, um, you know, a lot of stuff has been going on since they launched that uh, project website. And this is where I'm getting really, really excited because they're adding some really cool stuff behind it. So Mentra's NFT marketplace revenue sharing model allows Mint stakers to passively earn Pulse Chain via marketplace fee volumes on all NFT sales. So basically what you can do is you can buy up your Mint, stake it, and then you get to earn Pulse, which is absolutely awesome. So if you guys don't want to like earn their native token, you can just earn Pulse, which a lot of people are very, very bullish on. And it's another passive income opportunity for all you degenerates are in a passive income. So um, you can stake Mint. Uh, staking Mint does not include hard time locks, ponies, nor additional fees. The user simply pays a Pulse Chain Network fee to stake, unstake, or claim Pulse Chain rewards. It's pretty simple. It's not like Hex. There's no time lock. There's um, nothing else that's going on. It's basically you take your tokens, you lock them up, and you can remove them anytime you want. All you got to do is pay the gas fee. 1% of all the marketplace volume will get distributed proportionally as pulse rewards for mint stakers. And um, if wanted, the Mintra fee to address could use 0.25% of all marketplace fees volume to purchase mint on the open market and burn it. So um, there's going to be a cap on how much mint there's going to be. It's going to be burnt. And then you also get paid out in pulse. So it's like a win-win situation. And, you know, 1% of all those fees, like if the volume is like, let's say a hundred million and you take 1% of that, there's going to be $1 million worth of pulse chain tokens paid out to you for being a staker. So that's absolutely a huge incentive to stake this token. And it's a revenue sharing model. The team doesn't own any sort of like token allocations or whatnot. So definitely really cool how it works. It's very uh, easy and simple. You can come over here and create an LP pair with the uh, Mentra token and you can do it with pulse um you can buy it on pulse x right here if you guys want to take a little look at Ruski at it they're going to have a staking app absolutely awesome and i really love how they have um this setup for uh, this little figure there's a buy and burn you can use the farm uh function on pulse x you'll earn rewards and you can stake so it kind of gives you everything you can do there and they also present it in an easy to understand way Now, if you come over here to uh, the token analytics, I'll talk to you about the volume, the liquidity, and the overall price action in Mentra. Now, the one thing I will say is this will be a great indicator of what to expect of the price. Right now, this is just testnet, people coming in and just like, you know, screwing around and just checking out what's going on. And um, this can kind of give you an idea of what the token supply is what the overall um, price might be at launch. It can help you kind of strategize what's going on. And you can also use this to uh, compare the overall token um, price action in comparison to the other projects to see which ones are going to be very, very popular at launch. And so right now the liquidity in this token is at 19 million on testnet. So kind of gives you a great idea of um, the overall price performance of this. So we'll leave, uh, this website down in the description you guys should definitely check it out it's pretty cool if you want to go and just uh screw around and uh check out um this application you can also get some free you know test pulse and swap it for all these tokens and see what's going on 
So kind of coming back here to the main website overall, I love this project. They have a revenue sharing model. Um, you know, they're getting audited. They're going through all the great steps and you already see a project, a uh, product. Now, um, I don't really like projects that don't have like some sort of like white paper and gives you kind of idea what's going to happen down the road. Um, right now they're focusing on taking this project to launch, but I wouldn't be surprised if they try to do some sort of partnership where, you know, they have an exclusive NFT collection or something on that line. So this is all speculation. I'm, I'm just speculating here, but it kind of gives you the idea of like, you know, the space that these uh, development teams in, in the NFT marketplaces are looking, you know, they're going to really hone in on, you know, these NFTs. I wouldn't be surprised if they try to work with some of those uh, wrapped uh, hex stakes and try to sell them on their marketplace. So there's definitely a lot of utilities. And the one thing I've always said is NFTs are here to stay. They're not going anywhere. You know, there's going to be housing contracts for NFTs. There's going to be, you know, medical stuff that's going to be used for NFTs. There's going to be like receipt transactions that are going to be used for NFTs. So having a marketplace where that can facilitate um, and like a designated space on the blockchain that can be used to swap out, you know, NFTs and, and whatnot and also allows for expansion in the community. It's going to be very great for the pulse chain and also opens up a lot of opportunity for this project to grow. You know, you never know what's what these development teams are going to be creating down the road. So with that being said, guys, I am very bullish on this project. I cannot wait to see um, the launch of this project and the overall price performance. I firmly believe that we're going to see this project explode right off of the launch. And then we're going to see a nice sell off about three to four weeks after the price launch. And so I'll probably be sitting back and doing some uh, dollar cost averaging once we start to see a huge dip. Keep in mind, you want to buy on red days, sell on green days. When you see a huge dip in a, in a token that you have been you know, really interested in a while, that is your opportunity to buy in. You know, um, If I go to the store, I'm not going to go and buy like $200 shoes. I'm going to go find shoes that are worth $50 and use them and then get another $50. We buy stuff on sale. We're average shows. We're not these fashion, you know, Novas that try to get the most expensive things. You know, you want to save your money and try to get the most out of it. And so when it comes to uh, Mentra, um, we're going to see that initial dip. And then after that, we're going to see some awesome price performance since a lot of people are going to use that staking model to earn pulse rewards and we're also going to see a massive uh, buy and burn on the token supply. So before I wrap this video up, guys, you know, comment down below. Let me know. What, what do you think about Mentra? Do you think it's going to be a great project? Uh, what, what's your price predictions? You know, I think right off the gate, it's going to hit $10 and then it's going to collapse right after that. So that's my prediction. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. And, you know, it might be spot on. And before I wrap this video up, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so we keep you guys up to date with the latest, greatest news and information in the space. My name is Chaos Chris. I love every single one of you guys. And I'll see you in the next one.